let's take a look at uh, this particular situation. What's unique here a little bit <clears throat> is that when you take 360 and you divide it by 5, you get 72. When you divide that in half, uh, because when you put the apothem here, you're going to get a 36 degree angle. Um, your radius here, your apothem, and then half of your side. So in this case, um, you're going to have a 36 degree angle. You'll have a right angle. And then uh, you have to take a look at the given problem as to what you know. This says the radius is 10. So what that means is that this uh, value here is 10. Um, we would need to know the apothem and we would need to know half of the side. So what you would do is you would say the sine of 36 is the opposite, which in this case is x over uh, 10. And then you would cross multiply and get an approximate value. I'll put the approximate symbol there. Um, and let's figure it out on the calculator. And I get about 5. Point, let's say 8, 8 looks like. And that's an approximate value. Uh, and so that's going to operate that a value. And then I'm going to do cosine as well. So let's do cosine of 36 is uh, a over 10, the apothem. And here we're going to get a to be approximately 8.09 looks like. And then you go back to your formula, which is 1 half the apothem times the perimeter. So it's 1 half. The apothem in this case is 8.09. And then um, the number that we got down here, let me quickly circle it so you can see it. We would double that value. We would double that value and multiply that. So we'd multiply that by 2 because that would get us the full side. And then we would multiply that by 5. And that value will dump into this spot. Let me calculate that doesn't take much to calculate that because that's times 10 so 58.8 and then you're going to just for the sake of mess and other things you'd multiply all of that together to obtain your solution so let me just quickly recap that idea let me go back and let me grab a color that will show up here so the idea is that first we took this triangle we used a 36 degree angle and the given information. We calculated using sine, we calculated using cosine, and then we used those two numbers to help us obtain the goal. Let's take a look at the second one uh, of this type and we'll see if uh, we can figure it out. So in this case uh, they give us a side length of 6 so that means a 3 here. So again, just to kind of maybe draw our picture, again, we have a 36 up in this angle. Uh, we have a 90 here and then a 3 here. And again, we're going to find, in this case, all we need is our apothem. So uh, I think we're going to use tangent here. The tangent of 36 is 3 over A. Now, uh, you would have learned uh, already, but uh, this, this simplifies out to basically be 3 divided by the tangent of 36, which is approximately 4.13, approximately. Now we're ready to go. It's a half of the apothem, which we just found out to be 4.13, times a side, which was given 6 times 5, and again, uh, just for sake of time, you would just multiply all of that out and get an approximate answer. How did I do, do that? Well, I used this, this triangle right here. And uh, in doing so, I, I was given half of the side, that was the 3. And then all I had to do is find the apothem. And again, tangent is the opposite over the adjacent, which happens to be the apothem or the A. And then cross multiplying and solving gives me this value, and that allowed me to solve the problem here.